Hi, everyone. I'm Lisa Copeland, and I'm a love coach and dating expert for women over 50. And today we're going to be talking about a really important thing, and that is, are you tolerating red flags in men? But before we get started, I would love if you hit the subscribe button. And also, if you like this video, hit the like button as well and leave me your comments below. All right, let's get started. So are you as a single woman over 50 tolerating red flags in men? So this is what this looks like. You meet a man that you finally like, and he seems to have everything you've wanted, but red flags start showing up in the way he treats you. Now you hope that this is just a one-time thing. Maybe he had a bad day. Maybe his boss yelled at him or whatever. And you hope that as he gets to know you, he's going to change and things will be better. I do want to give you this important tip. And this is true for men and women. None of us change unless we want to. So if you keep going out with a man who has red flags, it's going to be an issue for you. And I'll tell you that lots of women do ignore red flags. They do it because a guy has something they really want. I call that a perceived high value quality. It's when he maybe makes the kind of money you want him to make, or he looks a certain way or acts a certain way. And so you end up ignoring red flags and then you end up settling for men that don't treat you right because you don't want to start all over again in the dating pool. I know beginning the dating journey again can feel really daunting, but when red flags show up over and over again, even if he has some of those qualities you like, it means you're tolerating behavior that isn't okay. In today's video, I want to help you identify five important red flags you don't want to be dealing with in a relationship that you think you want to take to the next level. Let's start with red flag number one. He disappears and comes back with no good explanation. So let's say you have three great dates with a man who seems to have the qualities on your must-have list. You laugh a lot, the conversation comes easily, you feel so connected, and you're thinking, hmm, I think this guy just might be the one. And then out of the blue, he disappears and shows up again six months later, texting you that he has missed you and he's missed your kisses. The problem is he cannot seem to explain why he's gone AWOL. And if he was into you, by the way, he would have texted you during his hiatus to let you know what was going on. Because after all, don't we all have smartphones that can text and dial phone numbers from our contact lists? Yes, we do. A man would never tolerate this type of behavior from a woman, and nor should you from a man, unless he tells you what happened in those six months, exactly why he went AWOL and why he's suddenly back. Red flag number two is you've been dating for a while and he's texting you at the last minute for a date. Okay, once in a while, this is okay to plan a date by text, but when it's happening continuously, it's really thoughtless. A man needs to call you for a date if you're starting to think about having a relationship. Texting is not a conversation. Texting is impersonal and it keeps you and he at arm's distance from each other. And it's also so open to interpretation. Now, a man who is really into you wants to hear your voice and connect with you on a regular basis and wants to make plans with you that the two of you can figure out together. That's the kind of man you want to be with. Okay, red flag number three, he is always working or with his grandchildren. If you have grandchildren, you know what a blessing they can be, but there is a life beyond those cute kids. And if a man wants a relationship with you, he'll do what it takes to create the space and the balance in his life so he can see you. If he doesn't, 
he's not into you. And by the way, the same goes for a man who is always working because when they are workaholics, their mistress is work. Let's move on to red flag number four. He introduces you as my friend. If a man is into you, he wants the world to know it. He's proud to have you on his arm and he'll excitedly introduce you as a great girl he's just met. Or if you've been dating for a while, he'll introduce you as his girlfriend. If he introduces you as his friend, that's how he sees you. And that's not likely to change. He's not into you if he's introducing you as a friend and you want to move on to someone who is. Red flag number five, he always wants the date to happen at either your house or his place instead of going out. And basically, this is a booty call. He is physically attracted to you and he can literally charm the pants off of you. He's always using the words that lead you to believe he's into you. He does like you, but his mission is to get you into bed. And that's why he'll always suggest intimate dinners at your place or his, or he is hiding that he is in another relationship. Then this man disappears again until he starts getting the hormonal urges and he'll come back again on his terms of my place or yours. Now, the problem is when a woman has sex with a man, the hormone oxytocin is released and she can stay bonded with him for up to three weeks. For a man, on a good day, he'll feel bonded maybe 30 minutes to an hour. You have the potential to really get hurt from this type of relationship because chances are he's really not that into you. He's just using you. And a man who is into you wants to make you happy and he's going to do everything he can to make you feel loved, cherished, and adored. You will never have to guess with him. So keep your eyes open for these red flags. And from time to time, red flags do happen. But if they continue to show up, you might want to think about moving on to a man who wants to be your guy. Now I want to leave you with a little inspiration that this is so possible for you. This is from my client, Heather, and she wrote and said, when I met you, Lisa, and began your Love After 50 program, I was 73 years old. I was over six feet tall and had not dated in, I can't tell you how many years. I saw all of these as real obstacles to finding a relationship. To my amazement, the man I found while working with you, in addition to having every single quality I was looking for in a partner, saw these as assets. I believe we found each other because of your guidance, helping me get really clear on who I wanted, helping me fine tune my profile to reflect that vision, along with having access to all the tools that you created for the program. And most importantly, your personal guidance and support. I was so unsure and very hesitant to start dating again, but you were my perfect match, Lisa, for making this happen in my life. If you want the outcome Heather got, you're going to need the right system and the right support to help you achieve this goal of love, companionship, and fun with the right man for you. If you look below, we have some resources for you, including a complimentary session to talk with me to see if this is a fit for you to change your love life. We also have other things you can do as well. All right, so you go out and use what I teach you and comment below on what you resonate with or what's happened to you in the past and how, had you known these red flags, it might've changed your life with the guys you got involved with. Until next time.